a different point too, because in my group, my, my supervisor, my, my main supervisor is a physicist by training. And then my co-supervisor is a biologist by training. And then we also have a chemist in my group. So I really enjoyed this part that I always have someone to go to if I need some support. The reason I have a forum was because my boss have, her, have, have students in it before, so she know it was a good place to start and to be in. And I've also heard, I heard about uh, how, it's, how it's done. So I think it was a really nice thing to get to know, know people. I mean, since you're a new PhD student, you, you are usually ask your group. And here's a good opportunity to meet new people, to expand your views, and also to, to get to know each other and to try and also and train on how, how to present and how to do a conferences, et cetera. So I think it was a really good opportunity. One of the greatest uh, advantages of being a forum, I think that you have this network you know that you can ask people like if I want to try a new technique and either if I don't have forum or Agora, I would need to read up on Wikipedia or read some articles and maybe misunderstand something. But now I know, oh, Jonas or Martin or Lina knows this, and then I can go talk to them. One major part is that you have to also learn of more about your own things because you're doing somewhere in between a popular science to talk to the public and a conference. So you have to have it in, in the bit of immediate level there. And that requires you to also know more about your field. So you have to think about, okay, how do I explain this to someone who is have knowledge of biology, physics, chemistry, but it's not actually my area, but it's also not the public. And I really enjoy this interdisciplinary dis, dis, field that you get, that you have to talk to a physicist, you have to talk to a chemist or a biologist or a mathematician or an economic or something. So you really get, I think that's really valuable both that they're experts in nothing that you're not, but also you get a lot of different viewpoints. And I think it gives also like a broad like knowledge, like in Swedish called like Almen building, in a kind of sense that you get to know a bit of that and a bit of that, you know a bit some about this strange physics thing, and now some bit of genetics, and now some bit of organic uh, electronics, you know, you don't know all of it, but you have hey, heard that before. So I think that's also very useful because then you have a, it's easier to talk to people and relate to people when you have this like slightly higher base knowledge. So the forum has been very useful for my future career planning because it has given me a broad network. It has been giving me a lot of knowledge of very different kind of art, different kind of fields. Sorry. It has given me more confidence in like presenting and to talk about my science with people uh, slightly out of my field. Uh, so I think that has been a very useful part of forum.